The 1990s saw a shift in global military strategy. The Cold War had ended, leaving a world grappling with regional conflicts and asymmetric warfare. The United States recognized the need for a new kind of fighter jet. This aircraft would need to be versatile and stealthy. Thus began the Joint Strike Fighter or JSF program. The JSF aimed to replace aging aircraft across the U.S. military. Boeing and Lockheed Martin emerged as finalists. Boeing proposed the X-32, while Lockheed Martin countered with the X-35. Both designs promised a new era of air dominance. Boeing's X-32 was a radical departure from traditional fighter jet designs. It featured a distinctive delta wing and a large air intake beneath the cockpit. This design aimed to meet the JSF program's challenging requirements. The X-32 needed stealth, short takeoff, vertical landing, and supersonic flight. The large air intake was central to its design. It allowed more air to reach the engine, essential for short takeoffs and vertical landings. The Delta Wing provided stability at high angles of attack. The X-32 was designed with modularity in mind. Mission-specific equipment could be easily swapped, emphasizing simplicity and affordability. Simpler design meant lower production and maintenance costs. The single-engine design reduced weight and complexity, but it also posed a single point of failure risk. As the JSF competition progressed, the X-32 underwent several design modifications. One of the most significant changes involved the aircraft's thrust vectoring system. Initially, the X-32 relied on a complex system of paddles and vanes within the engine's exhaust nozzle to direct thrust for stovel operations. However, this system proved to be heavier and less efficient than anticipated. To address these issues, Boeing redesigned the X-32's thrust vectoring system. The new system used a simpler and lighter design that relied on a rotating nozzle to vector thrust. This change, while necessary, added complexity to the X-32's development. It also highlighted the challenges of designing an aircraft that could meet the diverse requirements of the JSF program. Despite these adaptations, the X-32 faced persistent weight issues. The aircraft's large size and the need to accommodate the Stovall system added significant weight to the airframe. This, in turn, impacted the X-32's performance, particularly its maneuverability and range. Boeing engineers worked tirelessly to reduce weight, but the X-32 remained heavier than its competitor, the X-35. In 2001, the Department of Defense announced its decision. The Lockheed Martin X-35 was chosen as the winner of the JSF competition. Several factors contributed to the X-32's defeat, including its unconventional design, weight issues, and technical challenges. The X-35, while not without its own development difficulties, was ultimately judged to be a more mature and lower-risk design. Despite its loss, the X-32 left a lasting legacy on aerospace engineering. Its unconventional design and innovative features, particularly its thrust vectoring system, pushed the boundaries of aircraft design. The X-32's development also highlighted the immense technical challenges of creating a single aircraft capable of meeting the diverse needs of multiple military branches. The JSF competition, while ultimately won by Lockheed Martin, served as a powerful reminder of the importance of innovation and competition in advancing aerospace technology. Both the X-32 and the X-35 represented significant leaps forward in fighter jet design. Though only one could emerge victorious, both aircraft contributed to the advancement of aerospace engineering and helped shape the future of military aviation.